They'll be scaredy cats. Yeah. Okay. Scream. In theaters, it's a 2022 rated R horror thriller, two hours. Um, the first scream. So this is number five. The first one was 25 years ago. Yes. Yes. All right. So let's get into this. I'm going to talk about. Um, I'm going to talk about Jenna Ortega first. How about that? Boom. Sound good. Yes. Okay. Born uh, Jenna Marie Ortega. September 27th, 2002. So she's 19 years old. She's a short little thing. She's only 5'1". Um, she's tiny. Was, tiny, tiny little thing. Uh, Coachella Valley, Palm Desert, California. So our viewers might know her from um, Insidious Chapter 2 in 2013. Her breakthrough role was in Stuck in the Middle as Harley Diaz from uh, 2016 to 2018. And Yes Day alongside Jennifer Garner in 2021. And she also has been and is uh, voices a few animated um, series. She has five siblings and she has a few um, projects. I know she has five siblings and she had, I think it said that she was the fourth, um, fourth born. Anyway, and she's got a few projects coming up this in 2022. So um, she is. She's doing quite well for herself. She is Dominic's favorite. Really? Said she wasn't, yeah, he said she what? wasn't in the movie enough. And I, I was surprised that she what? was even in the movie as long as she was. But So yeah, let's, he, flush that, let's flush that out a little bit. Why is that Dominic's favorite? Oh, he likes Jenna Ortega. See, you know, if you have like a celebrity crush or something. Like 19? Maybe, maybe it's up 19, to him. 19, 20 years old? So yeah, she'll be. One the older women, is that it? <laughs> I mean, he's 16. It's a little, I mean, and she looks like she's 14. So she looks, you know, young. you know, um, yeah. you got more? not yeah. on her. Um, the, the three main movies that I have her for is Iron Man three in 2013 insidious oh. chapter two, which you mentioned scream. And then the other two movies that you're talking about in 2022 is studio six, six, six and X. Um, She's going to be playing Wednesday Adams. Wednesday Adams. There you go. Born yeah. September 27th, 2002. Yes. Uh, what are we talking about? Is it, is it my turn? Yeah. Why I'm turning my paper? I'm not ready to do that yet. We're talking, yes. about, we're talking about the younger cast of this movie and, of course, Melissa Barrera. Yes. Um, born and raised in Monterey, Mexico. I don't have a large history on her. Uh, in she fact, most, pardon me? He said, no, not a lot on her. No, no, 2022 was Scream, 2022 also Bed Rest. Um, oh, anyway. I know. Uh, earned praise as Vanessa in the musical drama film In the Heights in 2021. Hey, okay, moving on, we're gonna talk about Nev Campbell. <laughs> Damn, you're jumping over some people. That's all right. I, it's I'll okay. Right back. Hey, I'm going to put on a ghost mask. I'm going to come around the back door. I'll get it. Okay. Nev Adrian Campbell. She's a Canadian actress, and she's regarded as a sex symbol and scream queen. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, born October 3rd, 1973. She's 48 years old. <clears throat> she is doing well. I couldn't believe she was 48. Um, she looks good. She does. She looks really good. And I haven't seen her in a while. So it was really yeah. nice and refreshing to see her coming back here. So back here, like she walked into my house or something. Hey, Nev, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Nev, come on and see me. Right. Uh, let's see. We might know her from Party of Five from 1994 to 2000. Um, the movie The Craft. Um, so the Party of Five is really kind of where she got started. She was in a little bit before that, but that was her, you know, like a, that was a series, a television series. And then her first movie was The Craft in 1996, um, which actually I read had a lot um, better outcome than they thought it was going to be like a, an amazing uh, turnout for that one. Um, and then, of course, she is uh, Sydney Prescott in the Scream franchise that started in 1996. And her mother is Dutch. Her father is Scottish. She started ballet when she was six years old. Um, she was in a few theater performances and then started acting at the age of 15. Also, she was in a Coca-Cola commercial. 
Um, and I can't, who was that? It was for Brian Adams or yep. something, 1991. And You're then right. uh, she, also very brief story about she survived a bear attack when she was I 17. saw that. I was like, talk it out, talk it out, Max. Talk, talk about heck? it. So I guess she had honey on her so, hand. Yeah, she went into the woods and she poured honey all over. No, that's not true. <laughs> like that that's not what i read i don't think we read the same thing she had honey on her hand and i don't know if the bear was supposed to come up and just like it lick it out of her hand yeah, but the bear, bear ended up grabbing her and leg. drug her off into the woods drug her off to the woods yeah and just kind of like everybody froze but that was it it was an unnamed project and uh, like that was like okay see you later Some of it, i just can't help it so yeah yeah, no, speaking of previews see now it seems like you see a lot more previews than we do like we only have a few minutes of previews yeah. But, so Un Uncharted, which we said we're, you know, we're going to um, review. And then, um, but before that one was, I feel like there was another Marvel movie or something, but um, the Black Phone. Did you see the preview for that one? Creepy. Oh, Lord. Morgan's sitting right in front of me and this comes on and it was just like, like a little too creepy. And she turns around like, and I said, no. <laughs> but then by the time the whole the preview got done with, I thought, maybe, maybe it's one of those that might not be as scary as you think it's going to be. But it was OK. If you haven't if you didn't see the preview, you should look up. Yeah, scary news. lights I, out. I don't like the supernatural stuff like lights out. I won't see. And I think the nun is another one I won't see. Oh, OK. Courtney Cox. Ooh, you're just rocking and rolling. Let me get over here. We like her. We like her a lot. I, I love her. I don't really know her in person, but I love her. She's great. Uh, Courtney Bass Cox. Courtney Bass Cox. Bass is a interesting. Bass. What is Bass. she? Bish. Middle. It was like a middle a middle name thing, but I don't know if it was like a two last uh, name sort of thing. It might not. be. It might be sure. English. I don't know. I don't know. I thought that was pretty interesting though. Anyway, uh, she's an American actress, director, and producer. Uh, birthday, June 15th, 1964. She is 57 years old. She was born in Birmingham, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And did you have a question? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> recognition. Oh, we might, we might know her from Monica Geller and Friends and from 94 to 2004. Um, but did you know that she was asked to audition for the part of Rachel Green and then Jennifer Aniston got that, but then she ended up getting the Monica Geller, which I thought she was perfect for that. There you go. On Friends. Yeah. Yes. On Friends. On Friends. Yes. yes. Um, Gail Weathers um, from the Scream franchise. She was also an Ace Ventura pet detective in 1994 with Jim Carrey. Um, Bedtime Stories in 2008 with Adam Sandler. And I really thought that this was interesting. She went to college, but she didn't complete her architecture course uh, because she wanted to pursue acting and modeling. But I thought that was pretty cool that she was um, doing architecture. I really love architecture. So um, she was also in the 1984 music video for Bruce Springsteen, Dancing oh. in the Dark. Wow. Yes, I know. Pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. So she's cool. Oh, also, um she plays piano so i see her all the time she's posting on instagram like she beautifully she plays piano yeah. and her daughter daughter coco uh who she was married to david arquette and they had a daughter and so daughter coco sings quite often and she has a beautiful voice so very talented all around so i'm just waiting for daughter coco to start acting so maybe we'll see her wow. on the screen today but i don't know she yeah they Musically inclined, very talented family. So, yeah. So, Coco, yeah. if that's the only daughter or the only child that Arquette and Cox have together, Jennifer yeah. Aniston is the godmother. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I love how close that they are. They're yeah. like best friends. Yeah. Couple, uh, couple other movies. Masters of the of the what? Masters of the Universe. <laughs> Ace Ventura Pet Detective. And Said that one. Did you? I didn't hear it. All right, <laughs> got that. Okay. Uh, she is also a practitioner of Budokan Karate. Yes. 
she will kick your butt. That's right. Oh, this is for Mike. 2005, the longest yard. Mm. Boom. Drop the mic. Let's turn it off. We're done. Awesome. That's it. Okay. Who else do you have, Dad? Can you talk to oh. anybody else? Yeah, I got lots of people. Uh, what was the kid, uh, the guy, the boyfriend, um, his real name, last name Quaid? Is he the son of Dennis Quaid? Oh. So Jack Quaid is, in fact, the son of Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan. And his, ah. paternal, his paternal uncle is Randy Quaid. Nice. Christmas, Christmas vacation, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Such a uh, guy. Uh, yeah, we know. He, uh, in 2012, he made his film debut as Marvel in the Hunger Games. Okay. Yeah. Uh, was in a movie which I like because it's got Daniel Craig in it called Lucky Logan in 2017. Uh, a voice role in Smallfoot we've talked about before. Um, it's, it's kind of an interesting segue in that Jack is one of a couple different individuals who were children of other famous actors who who played in this in this movie but uh thought you're gonna say children of the corn i'm like what children of the corn <laughs> uh, so his yeah. he's probably best known his breakout row is, is a vig vigilante huge huge hugh campbell <laughs> huge he's huge <laughs> like last week it was me i couldn't speak at all and was, blah, blah. Stuff. Fun. all right Funny. dominic <laughs> fix it anyway yeah, I'm, that's it. So yeah, uh, Mason Gooding, um, born November fourteenth, nineteen ninety six, is the son of Kuda Kuba Gooding Jr. Uh, doesn't have a large filmography screen, and he's got another movie coming up in twenty twenty two called Moonshot. Um, so your actresses to talk about and, that, and then I'm good. So you don't want to talk about David Arquette? Uh, I mean, I mentioned him, but nope. You just want to let him die? <laughs> I mean, let me see if I no, have. No, I figured you'd probably had people to talk about too. So David Arquette, I'll throw it in there. He won the WCW World Heavyweight Championship in what? 2000. Believe it or okay. not. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. It lasted 12 days, but that's all right. He won it. So he, uh, he held the title for 12 days until there was a pay per view event in 2000 and he got his ass kicked, so to speak. Anyway. I'm surprised he did it in the first place, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so. That's all right. 12 days, you know. There you go. Um, he married Courtney Cox. They were married uh, June 12, 1999. And the daughter that we talked about, Coco. He has been in several things. Probably the most notable, Never Been Kissed, Scream, Eight-Legged Freaks. You gotta watch that. It's worth a watch. Okay. I've not seen it, but okay. Eight-Legged Freaks, come on. It's almost like Big Ass Spider that I watched with Emma. Oh, that's the one. Okay. I knew no, no, that's not that. the one, but it's a different one. So some kind of spidery thing that you watched with it. Yeah. Uh, Marley Shelton. Originally best known for her role as Wendy Peppercorn in the coming of age comedy The Sandlot. Remember her? Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sheriff. We're going sheriff. back a ways. Wow, I forgot. She was the sheriff, the mom sheriff. That... I forgot she was in that. That's crazy. Yeah. Her role was bigger this time. I was kind of surprised. I was like, yeah. oh, she's back in this. That's so she happened. reprised the role from Screen 4 or whatever. Yeah. And um, yeah, we won't give too many spoiler alerts on this. Uh, Sandlot, 1993, Pleasantville, another movie that you've probably watched. And so good. 1998, yes. uh, Scream 4, and it's then true. also 2018, Rampage, which I know you guys have watched. I think you guys like a lot. Mm -hmm. You do like that one a lot. Yeah. It's a good one. That's one of Matthias's 
well, interesting. I don't, know. Interesting. I don't want to go in favor of it. Yeah, interesting piece about this movie. It's first time I've ever seen that I've seen two individuals direct a movie, but uh, Matt Bettinelli Alfin and Tyler Gillitz were tied to videos and were were tapped to direct this. Um, I thought they did a good job, quite honestly. I don't know what you thought. Yeah. I think so. Um, yeah, and you know, like Nev Campbell wasn't going to be in this movie, or she thought about not not coming back for this movie because you know Wes Craven had passed, and um, you know the director sent a, a nice heartfelt message and saying that he he really loved the way that Wes Craven did it, and he um, you know really wanted to um, do do the whole franchise right, you know, and right. kind of keep going with the theme of it and stuff. And so and she really appreciated that, which I was really glad for. I mean, I couldn't imagine this movie without her being in it. So yeah, they both um, pretty good. They both have done a lot of short films. Um, Gillett, as an example, he he began his film career in the in the camera department on a Will Ferrell movie, <laughs> semi pro. And, and then those two connected um Bettinelli often and and Gillett and some other kind of uh, music kind of videos so it, it was interesting that it was a dual directorship and not a lot of previous uh, film history the the two the one movie that stands out that I'm at least familiar with that they're associated with is Ready or Not in 2019 I believe it's Probably a scary movie, so. Yeah, sounds familiar. Anyway, so there you go. That's the directors and that's what I've got. Awesome, okay. So I just had a little bit of fun here. I wanted to see what the Scream franchise, how they did. Numbers I got at first, I was like, and then it said, then I got something else and I was like, ah, this doesn't seem right. So I started all over again. So the first Scream movie um, got about $173 million. Second Scream, 172.4 million. Third Scream, 161.8 million. Fourth Scream, 97.2 million, which I wasn't surprised was lower. It was probably the, I don't like to call a movie the worst, but out of all of them so far, um, that's one I was kind of like, eh, not sure about that. So to have another one come out after that and this one do so well, I was pretty impressed. So um, just over this weekend, and as of, I think it said two days ago, over the three day weekend, this one already has 30 million. So, or over 30 million so far. So totaling 634.4 million so far on the Scream franchise. To dovetail off of that, uh, it had a budget of 24 million, this most recent movie, mm -hmm. and has made as of the 17th, a couple of days ago, uh, 54, 54 million. So, okay, so even more than pretty much doubled its money so far. I, I think it's going to probably be a hit. Um, I mean, just coming out of the first weekend, if it's done that, it'll be close to some of the numbers that you just talked about. So, yeah, no, it's pretty good. I know um, the first one had a budget of 15 million, and like I said, it was 173 million is what it made. So, right. Um, box office. So, yes. Um, so, I decided to look up, which I, I'm sure we all know when we say scream queen, but I wanted to know the definition of it. So, it is a term used to describe an actress who is prominent and influential in horror films, or specifically used to refer to the attractive young damsel in distress characters that have appeared in a horror genre. Nice. Yes. So I have some of those actresses, um, Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween, Nev Campbell in Scream. Um, we have Faye Ray and Janet Lee um, were both in Psycho. Linda Blair in The Exorcist, Heather Langenkamp, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, Jennifer Love Hewitt and Sarah Michelle Gellar, both from I Know What You Did Last Summer, which yeah. those maybe sucked, but whatever. Um, and Allie Larder from Final Destination. So. Yeah, the Final Destinations were some um, 
different films. Um, I probably zeroed in on on one of the first one or two, but I think they've had as many as five or six of those. Oh yeah, it seemed like they had a ton of those. <laughs> They're real. I, I mean, I, I don't gravitate towards those kind of movies all that much, but I mean, they're really squashy, mashy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah. like remember the the movies we were gonna watch, which I did. It was that trilogy that was like Saul. No, not Saul, but that's another example. Mm -hmm. um, it was like 1996, then it rolled back to 16. Oh yeah, right. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What the, is that one called? But it was just made. But um... Fear Street or something. yeah, they, right. Fear Street. So I watched those, which. They were captivating, they were interesting, but they had those elements of, oh, that's not going to happen. Oh, my God, it just happened. You know, one oh, of yeah, those things. Like, yeah. no. So. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the Scream movie, that was one of the things that was kind of. Yeah. They brought a little bit more of that gore to this one. And. Uh, you know, like that first scene where the, the knife goes through his neck and it just like it holds on that scene forever. And you're like, oh, my God, you yeah. know, it doesn't just stab and then go away. But it was like in every time that they would stab somebody, it was like right in their side and just over and over and over. And I'm like, God, that's disgusting. That's horrible. And yeah, they referred. But, yeah, they referred to the dude as Ghostface, which is cool. But they refer to the stab movies, which is equivalent of what we're watching Scream. Yes. And um, I mean, it was kind of neat. And I, even through the entire movie, I, I mean, you know, you had an idea who you thought, you know, just because of what was going on. But mm -hmm. it kept it pretty close to the vest and kind of that surprise element, you know. So yeah. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Even though that they kind of like talked about it, like it could be you, it could be me. Yeah, Maybe. it could be. Yeah, right, know, right. Of, yeah, like, the like, rules like, of the rules of these kind of movies, right? Yes. Yeah, I thought that was. It was neat that they were back in the house too, right? Kind of brilliant. That all of it. Yeah, yeah, all the all the things that brought you back to pretty much the first one, but then they would add a new little thing to it, you know. Yeah. What are but you going down the basement by yourself for? Huh? <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't say that. <laughs> you want me to go with you? <laughs> you staying for the movie? Yes. Okay. We're good. You know. But I sat in one row, and then Morgan and her boyfriend, and then about two rows ahead of that were you know, four boys. And it was funny because I came in and I went right over and uh, Matthias was in the bathroom, but I walked right over and Dominic's looking at his friends. He's talking to his friends and I walk right over and I sit right down next to him. And then he turns over and he's like, oh, uh, -uh no. And I'm like, I'm just joking, bud. <laughs> I'll be in the back. <laughs> so people hang on the edge of their seats waiting for that information. Obviously, it's not the same if you don't say it. It's almost as bad as if not uh, of us not rating the movie. Oh, what am I thinking? I'm not. This whole evening has been. Um, I will give it a 4.25. I enjoyed it enough to give it that. Nice. I mean, it's wide open, kids. Go ahead. It fun. is. It Go was ahead. very wide open. It, 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 it was... Yeah. I, I liked it. I... Stabs. Stats. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll go the same. I'll do 4.25 as well. And I'll there do Ghostface. I like it. I like it. The good stuff. Okay. I mean, I couldn't believe they shot the face off of that one person. No, wait a minute. I'm just kidding. That didn't happen. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who ate wait my on. ice cream? Everybody? Like? <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you. All right. Bye.